Hi everyone. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Cho from the Toronto Concussion Clinic. Today I'm going to show you an exercise uh, using a Marsden ball. So you can make these, basically go to the dollar store and get a piece of some foam and put on some stickers and hang it up with some fishing line. And you can, to weight it down, you can get some, uh, some like washers or something like that. Uh, but we bought this one. And uh, the Marsden ball can be used in many different ways. One way I'm going to show you how to use it today is doing something called uh, X2 gaze stabilization. So up until now, you remember we did gaze stabilization while you're staring at one thing. Well, what happens if that thing is also moving, right? Now you can do it with your own hand, but sometimes it's nice to even have it like this. Uh, so I'll show you what we do. So you, you get a metronome, and I'm going to set it at 100 beats per minute. And if I want to kind of work on my gaze stabilization in this horizontal plane axis, I'll just go side to side, and I'm just going to call out the letters I see on that second row. I'm just going to arbitrarily, while I'm turning, O, okay, B, B, O, G, U, V. O, G, O, and the key is, is you'll notice that your gaze will sometimes deviate off and you want to keep it, keep it focused there. Ideally, you know, the thing shouldn't be moving, but sometimes the Marsden ball will spin, so you'll just pick the letter that took its place. You can also do it up and down, and a lot of concussion patients have more problems with this, and so you want to go slow, but okay, that was too hard, but go slow like that, and so I'm going to go slower to start. So I'm just looking at that O. Okay. And that's the exercise. Now, you can end up using too much of your fixation central vision to do this task, which is a little bit counterproductive. So to balance it out, you have targets on the wall. Uh, that kind of pull your attention in that direction and keep you kind of paying attention to that. So you have to consciously pay attention to that without looking at it, just keeping it in your peripheral vision. And you can actually pick ways to interact with it in a way that forces you to. Like, you know, while you're doing it, you're like shooting socks in a garbage can, right? And you have those garbage cans out there. Or you have a laser pointer and while you're doing it to the beat, I'm going too fast. You just point. Pretend to have a laser pointer in my hand. Or you could someone could be like tapping a balloon to you while you're doing it, and you gotta tap it back. And then you could do cognitive tasks like counting backwards by seven or rhyming off um, American baseball teams or something like that. Or you could uh, have a balance task, like you're uh, standing on one leg or on like um, a basu ball or something like that to challenge you in those ways. So there's so many ways you can progress it and each one of those things make it a bit harder. Uh, sometimes it makes it easier, like the peripheral task. If you get skilled at that, it can make it easier. Uh, other than you have to actually pay attention, use cognitive skills to start being able to do that. Uh, finally, something that really helps a lot of people with these type of exercises is something that professional athletes use when they're, when they're training. And sometimes they imagine that they're outside their body watching themselves do the drill. And if we adopt that persp perspective, sometimes that can help you also. So that's called X2 viewing, where the target is moving while your head is moving, usually in the opposite direction. Technically, it's in the opposite direction, but sometimes for this, it's hard when you go up and down. It's hard to get it exactly up and down in opposite directions, but it's still challenging nonetheless. Mimicking everyday things like running 
and things like that where your head is bobbing up and down as you run and so on. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and stay tuned, we'll come out with some more videos to help you on your road to recovery. Take care everyone, bye.